Jim Leonard announced that he will not be returning as the defensive coordinator at Wisconsin. And this is interesting because there were reports just a week ago, less than that, that said that he was going to be the defensive coordinator for Luke Fickle. Like, Fickle said that he had offered him the job, and it was reported at a couple of different places that Leonard had said that he was going to stay there, that he was a Badger, etc. Well, then Leonard comes out and says, nah, nah, I'm not going to do this. And what I'm curious about, because it was it was very close to when Longo was announced that, that he was leaving North Carolina, do we think that Jim Leonard decided that he did not want to coach defense opposite of Phil Longo. Now, this is not a personal thing. I'm just very curious because we saw Jay Bateman was a really good defense coordinator at Army. That's a defense that is predicated on not having to be on the field very much, right? Jim Leonard's defense doesn't really have to be on the field all that much because that offense goes on these long, sustained drives. They're consistently, uh, I guess, either tops or bottoms in the country, I guess bottom in the country uh, as far as plays run uh, per minute. They don't go fast. They never have. They run the football, the clock runs, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I wonder if Jim Leonard realized, oh, this is not going to be good. I mean, North Carolina swapped out defense coordinators. They've got a ton of talent on that defense. They brought in Gus Malzahn, who uh, we can question the hiring and, and et cetera, et cetera. But Phil Longo has never had a good defense opposite him. Do we think that that's a coincidence? Or do we think that maybe that offense going that fast and getting the teams back out on the field that quickly might have something to do with it? Like, I'm, I'm very curious here. Um, I think Jim Leonard has some other options, right? I think there's certainly other options for him. And I think it would be good for Jim Leonard to get away from Wisconsin to try and do something a little different. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people that are already shouting for him to go be the new head coach at Purdue. Maybe you go be a defensive coordinator somewhere else for a little while and learn under some other head coaches other than Paul Christ and people that have been at Wisconsin. At at the end of the day, I think that's the smartest thing for anybody. Expand your horizons. That's the smartest thing you could possibly do uh, in a career path like this. Be prepared for everything. Be willing to adapt to anything. Uh, We'll see what Jim Leonard does. But I hope the best for him. But I'm I'm very curious if he knew about that Phil Longo thing or if this really is just him deciding, eh, I, I think I would like to try something else. Like, obviously, the guy can coach defense. I would like to go get ideas from other coaches as well. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.